Something that I believe I need to get to here is uh, my old web servers. So uh, before we go in and set up the Apache thing, I want to pop in the file manager and just put in some of the old files. So let's see here, file upload to a current directory. So I want to get over to var so right now we've got the standard HTML directory. We want a new directory. Okay, it's pretty clear. I've also got another one, new directory. Inside here, let's see, upload to current directory. Let's see, can I find what I'm looking for? Other location. So. This, I believe, was my old version of the website, so it's very... Oh, I just lost a page. The progress bar just jumped all over the place. So, um, we just uploaded this old backup from uh, my other server, my backup server. We're going to extract the archive and see if it lands in here. Oh, everything's not how I wanted it, so let's just show 1,000 entries for right now. Edit tools file. How about select everything? I want to just select all, but I don't see a select all button here. You know what? I think I got an idea. I went about this the wrong way. I'm going to take this file. I'm going to cut that file, go up in here, I'm going to paste that file, and I'm going to take this thing and destroy it, and now we'll untar this sucker and boom, we've got our old website set up. Oh, so nice. So let's go back up into www. That one's junk. And let's go upload another one. Okay, so. I can't even remember if any things are any good. Oh, Webalizer, I should probably bring up. Do that later. Oh, there goes the progress bar again. Wrong window. This one might take a little longer. There's quite a bit of stuff. Oh, this is going to take quite a bit of time. We're going to pause that video and get right back to it.
Okay, uh, it looks like our thing finished here, so let's... Oh. We're extracting that archive, and I can't remember if I should have deleted this folder first, but... Here we go. Oh yeah, that reminds me. So let's just see how much crap we got in here. Yeah, that looks right. I don't think I wanted those to be... Alright, let's go. File, tools, change ownership. Alright, you see root root in a lot of these things, but I believe that we want a user to be in control of these things. Alright, there we go. Get rid of this. Okay, so those two folders have webby stuff in them. Apache web server, create a virtual host. You'll see a lot of examples of how to do this on the Weberoni. Handle connections to your server number. Your port that you want to start with is 80 because that's your... Here's the folder that I just made, so var... Double click and so that's the root for it server name this is good by default Directives from nowhere, create now, boom. And port 80, and there it is. So now, um, before we were getting that, uh, we were getting that default page that Ubuntu has on there. Oh, we're not us yet. Oh, you know what? Uh, always remember whenever you do something in Apache, you want to... Where's my... Uh, apply changes. Oh, they changed that. Whenever you do something like that, making the new virtual server, you want to go ahead and reload it, otherwise you're not going to get the results you expected. Yeah, that's more like it. So now we have a specific web server that's serving up specific pages. Oh, you know what? 
I didn't put that one on there. We have a virtual host again, a specific address. We're on this machine. We want to listen on port 80. Uh, document root is bar. Select that one. Server name is not automatic. Boom, that's good. Virtual servers, nowhere, directives, create now. Apply those changes and reload. And there's so much crap here. This used to be like, I got this, this whole thing got started because of politics. So after politics, oh, what, what I do? Shouldn't have been there. The old, YouTube channel. I had a link. Oh, there's the link for my old one. So uh, this one died in November 9th, 2010. And there's even older stuff uh, than this, but I was pretty tweaked in for the New York race. Okay, so we got our two virtual servers. Okay, and this is just a really quick add-on. Uh, we want to add one of the unused modules here. A, I mentioned it before, Webalizer. This is a pretty cool service. What it does is it looks at the web logs in Apache to see what URLs were requested from the outside world and it gives you a nice user interface uh, so webalizer files in installed okay so uh, let me just try something here the last time i was in here and i installed some things from the unused modules they didn't leave the unused modules list but I noticed for some reason they seem to move afterwards and I'm not sure why like in the networking section now I've got my failed band sitting there so uh, let's see what if I did okay so so we don't see we don't see Webalizer there Let's see Webalizer there. Don't see Webalizer there. So let's see. Restart Webman. Let's see if that makes a difference. Okay. A few seconds before returning. That seems long enough. All right. So let's see. Is Webalizer there? That's ah, still there. That's funny. Okay. So one of the things that I did do is uh, early right report to directory I uploaded my old webalizer data from before I destroyed my server. Let's see. Simple schedule, hourly, times and dates selected before, zero hours, zero minute. Okay, so let's see what we get here. And then, um, See if I can remember this. So, let 
in Apache, you've got the normal log files. Let's see. Let's see what we can see here. Filter, show directos. Document. Oh, log files. I missed it. So where are we writing the logs? Okay, other host access logs. So ver log, blah blah blah. Okay. So one of the things that you can do with Webalizer is, is have it taper out. And uh, actually, just get the whole extension in there too. You can have it taper out and. Uh, split up each you can have a webalizer for each one of these uh, each one of these virtual hosts so log files so log format file program right to the file out save gonna do one more before I re refresh Apache all right so log files You can stop and start Apache instead of instead of the apply changes. Either one of those is effectively the same thing. Apply changes, stop, start. Sometimes in a panic mode of click and post just to be extra sure. So let's see what we got here. Those things should be writing too and That's one. Oh, that's wrong. What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? What happened? Did really I lose that? Did I straight click it? Done a, must have done an oopsie click on the way in. Okay, there. So now our log files should have two 
served pages in them if they're actually there and just to refresh me those are ver log apache 2 so now we want others file manager Very log Apache 2 and let's see other hosts. You can uh, click to look inside of them if you want uh, when you're in there. So what do I got here? And there we go. We've got that access log and that access log. Boom. So now that you have those two virtual hosts broken out into individual pieces, I wonder if rebooting my server would make this unused module jump from here to up where it's supposed to be. Oh, look at that. I did not, uh, I did not know that would happen scheduled all right so let's give that write the report to there. So your scheduled simple hourly and well not you're not scheduled yet. Oh I just screwed up. That's bad, okay. So let's take this thing, copy that, let's fix that, save. Oh, you know what else? Uh, I'll do that in a second. Alright, so... Boom. Save. Let's go in here. Generate the report. Be done. Uh, this, I believe, is the same as a button on the, the, uh, yeah, there you go. So, uh, a lot of these are hot linked, so you can jump around to, uh, different, different pieces of the, the report, and, let's see. So yeah, so uh, one, once you jump into a hyperlinked area, you've got you got more information uh, available to you about how your your server is being looked over. And the nice thing about this is because it's just a a way of displaying log files on the screen. Anytime you decide to switch the interface or uh, so, so that you can display the reports differently, it's it's no big deal. So, so now these things, instead of going in to click the button to re produce the report, they're going to give me an hourly report refreshed once a day. And that's Webalizer. So basically, you pop into your Webalizer module and you click to view the report, and there you go pop back through the dates and so forth. So I guess the, the what I 
didn't do that I should have done is before I destroyed my old server I should have exported the logs from Apache. I thought I did that but I don't I don't know where they are right now so and that's a wrap. <laughs>